Welcome back to 90 Plus One Facts, where this week I've reached fourth spot, beaten some nonsense team from Eastern Europe, and now progressed into the Champions League. One. I fell out my mum in 1995, but three years prior to that, something almost as exciting happened to the world when the Champions League was created in 1992. Two. Before 1992, it existed as the European Cup, which was created in 1955. Three. The difference in the two versions aren't only the size of the trophies, but the European Cup was a straight knockout competition featuring only teams who won their domestic league, whereas the Champions League features group stages and you can potentially have five teams from one country appearing in one campaign. 4. Real Madrid won the first ever Champions League, beating Stade Rams 4-3. 5. Madrid went on to win the next four after that, even putting f***ing seven past Eintracht Frankfurt in the 1960 final. 6. Los Blancos dominate the competition, winning a record 12 out of the 15 finals they've been in. 7. Meanwhile over in Turin, Juventus will be shedding a tear as they featured in 9 finals but managed to lose 7 of them. Someone give poor Booth on that bloody cup. 8. Benfica are the only other team to have lost more finals than they've won, with 2 wins and 5 losses. 9. Nottingham Forest and Porto are the only two clubs to have appeared in the final more than once with a 100% success rate. 10. Forest are also the only club to have won the European Cup more times than they have won their domestic league. 11. Buffon has lost all three Champions League finals he's been in, but it's not the most, with Patrice Evra losing four out of five Champions League finals. I think he'd take that one trophy over none though. 12. What's this peculiar photoshop? That's right, it's a sea dwarf. Clarence Seedorf to be exact. The Dutchman has the record of winning the trophy with three different teams. Ajax, Madrid and AC Milan. 13. You'd think four Champions League trophies would be the most a player has won, but you'd be wrong, with Paco Gento winning six with Real Madrid from 1956 to 1966. 14. You don't actually get to keep the cup if you win it. Under the old rules, you got to permanently keep the trophy if you won three consecutive titles, or if you won five overall. However, since 2008-09, clubs now only receive a replica trophy, with the original now forever being kept in UEFA's possession. 15. There are five clubs who managed to keep the trophy under the old rules, with Real Madrid, Ajax, Bayern Munich, Milan and Liverpool all keeping one each. 16. Liverpool were the last club to keep the original trophy in 2005. Barcelona are the only club to have missed out because of the new rules, winning their fifth title in 2015. 17. The year after they won it, Liverpool were given special dispensation to enter the next season's Champions League, as they did not finish in a high enough league position to qualify. After this, UEFA made it a rule that every Champions League winner automatically qualifies for the following season's competition. 18. After Madrid were permanently awarded the first European Cup in 1966, UEFA opted to change the design to the lovely big ear jug we all fight over today. 19. Fat shiny ears is what I like to call it, but its huge handles have actually earned it the nickname Big Ears in multiple languages. La Cou ou Grand Oreille and La Origona. 20. You've got to travel to lovely Glasgow to visit the winner of the first Big Ear trophy, with Celtic beating Inter Milan 2-1 in 1967. This made Celtic the first British team to win the cup, and the only Scottish one. 21. 1967 is also the first time the Soviet Union enters a side in the competition, with Torpedo Moscow going out in the first round. 22. Three-time winner Ike Casillas holds the record of most appearances with 164, scoring None. Outrageous. Should have worked harder, Casillas, mate. Rubbish. 23. Mr. Butt, as in Hans Jorg Butt, is a keeper who has scored in the Champions League, netting three penalties. 24. Least surprising fact of the day goes to the fact that Spanish clubs have had the most Champions League winners, with Real Madrid and Barcelona racking up 17 between them. Italy and England are joint on 12 each. 25. However, Spain's winners only include two teams whereas England has produced five different winners. Liverpool, Manchester United, Nottingham Forest, Aston Villa and Chelsea. 26. English teams were banned from the competition from 1986 until 1991, after a series of stadium disasters and hooliganism problems. 27. The absence of English teams provided three new teams to win the coveted competition, with PSV Eindhoven, Red Star Belgrade and Stauer Bucharest all winning before 1991. 28. Eight years after, and Manchester United brought the trophy back to England, becoming the team to have won the Champions League by winning the fewest games. They won only five matches 
yet went the entire competition unbeaten. 29. The Red Devils hold the record for the longest unbeaten run with 25 games from 2007 until 2009. The streak was only ended by Barcelona in the 2009 final. 30. Three clubs have appeared in the final more than once, but have lost every time. Start of rounds, Valencia and Atletico Madrid. 31. Real Madrid hold the record of most consecutive European Cup appearances, with 15. They also hold the record consecutive Champions League appearances, featuring 21 from 1997 until present day. It doesn't look like that record is ever going to stop, does it? 32. Los Blancos also hold the record of scoring the most consecutive games, scoring at least a goal in 34 matches from 2011 until the 2014 away leg against Borussia Dortmund. 33. Barcelona held the record for most consecutive semi-final appearances with six from 2007 to 2013. But fierce rivals Real Madrid surpassed this in 2017, reaching their seventh consecutive semi-final. 34. I'm genuinely bored of Real Madrid, but this video might as well be 90 plus one facts about Real Madrid because they feature in a load of European records. Here's another one of them being the only club to retain the current incarnation of the Champions League, winning in 2016 and 2017. 35. Dutch giant Feyenoord beat Iceland's Reykjavik 12-2 in the first round in the 1969-70 season, the highest scoring European match ever. 36. The largest margin of victory in the current format is when Helsinki beat Bangor 10-0 in 2011-12. 37. It's time to get bigger and include the second leg, with 18-0 being the highest aggregate score. Benfica beat Luxembourg side Stade Doudelange in the preliminary round 1965-66. They won 8-0 and 10-0. 38. Seven European Cup ties have been decided by a coin toss. That's right, imagine playing 120 minutes of football and at the end it's decided by a referee throwing a piece of metal in the air. 39. This has happened to Galatasaray twice, with them winning once and losing once. It's almost as if it's a 50-50 chance. 40. Clearly realising coins are too savage to decide a match, the away goals rule was introduced in 1967-68. 41. In 2002-03, Milan and their blue brother Inter met in the semi-final. Since they both share a stadium, Milan were designated the home team in the first leg and Inter the away side. The first leg finished 0-0 and the second leg finished 1-1 which meant Milan progressed due to the away goals rule. 42. The first ever European Cup penalty shootout was introduced in 1970, after Everton vs Borussia Mönchengladbach drew 2-2. Everton went on to win 4-3 on penalties. 43. Whatever you think of Cristiano Ronaldo, his noodle hair and his awful jumper, the man has created some pretty amazing stats. The Portuguese forward has scored a record 105 goals in just 140 games in Europe's top competition. 44. Messi comes in second in that list with 94 goals in 115 appearances, which means the tax fraudster has the best goals to game ratio at 0.82. 45. Ronaldo is still here with that beaming smile and impressive lack of modesty as he has the incredible fact of being Champions League top scorer for six seasons, with five of them consecutively from 2012 until 2017. 46. Benfica's Jose and his son Rui are the only father-son duo to both finish as top scorer in the European competition. 47. I'm no magician but I do know how to use Google, so prepare yourself for some mad European hat-trick facts. Ronaldo is the only human to have scored a hat-trick of hat-tricks, scoring three hat-tricks in the 2015-16 Champions League. 48. Madrid legend Ferenc Puskas is the only person to have scored a hat-trick in the final but still lose succumbing to a 5-3 defeat against Benfica. 49. Imagine scoring on your debut, let alone scoring three goals on your debut in the Champions League, which is surprisingly a feat that seven people have managed. Marco van Basten, Faustino Esprilla, Yakubu, Wayne Rooney, Vincencio Aquinta, Graphite, and Yassin Brahimi. 50. Remember the former Swansea forward with the strange lioness celebration? Better for Timby Gomez is his name, and before being okayish at Swansea, he was rather good at Leon, especially considering he scored the fastest Champions League hat trick, taking just eight minutes to put free plus Dynamo Zagreb. 51. Lionel and Cristiano are finally equal in one category, with both scoring seven Champions League hat tricks each. That is fing insane. 52. Dutchman Roy Mackay holds the record for fastest Champions League goal, scoring in just 10.2 seconds against Real Madrid in 2007. 53. 
Paolo Maldini scored the fastest goal in the competition's final, tucking away after just 53 seconds against Liverpool in 2005. 54. Another record Maldini broke in the same match was for the oldest player to score in a final at 36 years and 333 days. 55. Welcome to the glorious group stages, the section where you have to watch this guy and his weird head talk rubbish for ages rather than just get on with a bloody draw. Our first fact concerns every hipster's favourite German team, Borussia Dortmund. Die Schwarzgelben scored 21 goals in the 2016-17 group stage, a Champions League record. 56. PSG and Napoli are the only two teams to have racked up 12 points in the group stage but still not progress through to the next round. 57. Oi oi, my city boys are here. What insane fact do we have to impress you with our lovely sky blue might? Man City are the only team to get 15 points in the group stage and still not come top. Oh, that was, that was a bit shit. 58. Meanwhile, then at St. Petersburg and Roma have both achieved the lowest with six points yet still advanced to the knockout stage. 59. These are the champions. <laughs> that was the only version of the Champions League ad from I could use due to copyright, but the one we all love and sing was written by Tony Britton. UEFA commissioned Britain in 1992 to create the anthem, with the lyrics featuring French, German and English. 60. I rarely host large gatherings because 1. I can't be bothered to clean up afterwards and 2. I drink too much too quickly and I'd be asleep by midnight. However, that's not a problem for the glorious Wembley Stadium, which has hosted the most finals of Europe's top competition with 7 times. 61. I don't know if you've heard because their fans rarely ever mention it, but Liverpool are England's most successful team in the competition with five trophies. However, fierce rivals Manchester United were the first English team to win the cup back in 1967-68. 62. Barcelona are the first team to have two players score 10 plus goals in a single Champions League season. 63. Andreas Iniesta is the first player to assist a goal in three different Champions League finals. 64. The man with a hairline receding quicker than the polar ice caps is also the only player ever to win man the match in a Champions League final, a European Championship final and a World Cup final. 65. In the 2015 final, Pedro came on in the 96th minute and his only touch of the game was to set up Neymar to seal Barcelona's landmark fifth big ear title. 66. Neymar is the first player to score in both quarter final legs, both semi-final legs as well as in the final. 67. Since 1990, you cannot referee in UEFA international competitions over the age of 45. The age limit was established to ensure an elite level of fitness. Guess that's why they never called on Phil Dowd then. 68. Only three clubs have won the Champions League fielding a team consisting of players entirely from their country, as well as their manager. Celtic, Real Madrid and Stauer Bucharest. 69. Celtic's triumph was even more impressive because their entire squad was born within a 30 mile radius of Celtic Park. 70. The city of Athens is old as shit, but more importantly, they are one of only two cities to have been represented by three teams in one European season, with Olympiakos, Panathinaikos and AEK Athens. The other city is London, with Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham in 2010-11. 71. It may feel like Arsenal face Bayern Munich every single year and get battered along the way, but the most common fixture in European football is Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich, with the sides facing each other 11 times. However, they've never met in a European final. 72. The final of the 2012-13 tournament, contested by German rivals Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich, was the most watched final to date with a huge 360 million television viewers worldwide. That's 30 million more people than the entirety of the United States of America. Not that they were probably watching it over there anyway, they much prefer hand egg. 73. Only two managers have won the European Cup or Champions League three times. One is legendary Bob Paisley with Liverpool and the other is Carlo Ancelotti with Milan and Real Madrid. 74. However, Zinedine Zidane is currently the only manager to win two Champions Leagues in a row in 2016 and 2017. 75. Spain may have won the most titles, but Italian managers have guided teams to the title the most times with 11, just ahead of Spain on 10 and England and Germany on 7. 76. In 2016, the final between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid was the sixth time the final had been contested between two teams from the same league. 77. 
It was also the third all-Spanish final in the tournament's history. The other two were Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid again in 2013-14 and Real Madrid versus Valencia in 1999-2000. 78. Liechtenstein is the only country out of the 54 UEFA member associations that is not represented in the competition, since it doesn't organise a domestic league. Liechtenstein team's only available route to the Champions League is to win the Europa League. 79. The 2002 03 Newcastle United team are the only team to have progressed through the group stage after losing their first three matches. Craig Bellamy scored an injury time winner to beat Feyenoord 3 2 and progress into the next round. 80. Only one team has lost the first leg of a knockout match by four goals, but still managed to qualify for the next round. That was a Neymar inspired 6 1 win against PSG in 2017. He then went and signed for PSG for 200 million the following summer, so if you can't beat him, buy him. 81. Manchester United in 2010 11 are the only team to play six away games in the Champions League campaign without conceding a goal. 82. 2007 08 was the first time that four teams from the same country all reached the quarter finals, with Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester United. The same teams repeated the feat the following season. 83. The Fat Shiny is trophy weighs about 11 kilograms, which is about the same weight as an overweight sausage dog. Can you tell I'm starting to struggle for facts now? 84. Greece's AEK Athens 2002 03 side is the only club to have drawn all their group matches. 85. Manchester United, Milan, Liverpool and Barcelona are the only teams to have managed to win the competition after starting from the third qualification round. 86. 17 is almost old enough to legally do what you've been doing since you were 15, but 17 is also the number of goals that Ronaldo scored in 2013-14, the record for most goals in the season. 87. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the only player to have scored for six different teams in Europe's top competition. Netting for Ajax, Juventus, Inter, Barcelona, Milan and Paris Saint-Germain. Will he make it seven with Manchester United? Probably, to be honest. 88. Your boy Ruud van Nistelrooy is the only player to score in nine consecutive Champions League appearances in the 2002-03 season. 89. Raul is the only player to score in 14 consecutive Champions League seasons, from 1997-98 to 2010-11, with Real Madrid and Schalke. 90. Welshman Giggs is the only player to score in 16 different Champions League seasons. 91. Our last fact is Superhumans Lionel Messi and Ronaldo are the only players to have scored nine goals against a single opponent. Messi has netted a total nine past Arsenal, whilst Ronaldo has put the same amount past Bayern Munich. And that's it, it's all done. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that mother facting like button, subscribe like your life depends on it, and I'll see you next week.